Well, my uh, Viken telescope came in. I don't know if I'm actually pronouncing it right. I did a little research on Viken. Again, like I said, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing it right. I did some research on them prior to me getting this telescope. And turns out that the that they are in fact a Japanese telescope company. The main reason why I got this telescope is because it's you because it's used in if uh, not if uh, it's used in a sky full of stars. And that with that and thanks to that virtual novel, this telescope here I'll be able to basically replicate what they did in there and then expand upon it. So let's see what this thing comes with. This is the. $400 model which actually comes with the uh, freak with the uh, with the uh, stand too. Just a base telescope on its own without the tripod costs $200. So basically and the tripod itself also costs $200. So yeah, this is a fairly pricey telescope. Boxes within boxes. So which one's the telescope and which one's the tripod? You, I bet if I can figure out, this one's the tripod and that means the other end is the telescope. Can't saw the bubble wrap. Actually you guys can't really see anything, but. Well yeah, here it is. This box here has the, uh, has a big old tripod. This tripod that this thing comes with is actual metal. And this right here should be the telescope. you can't see right so right now it says Viken Tokyo Yamaha so hmm, that's interesting but the box that has a stand is from Los Angeles California oh god yeah this is definitely the stand and there goes my clear tape uh, give me a second. Yeah. Where did this stupid box cutter go? I lost my box cutter on the floor. Again, so I've already three minutes in. So this is going to be a long video. I don't want to do jump cuts. Not because I'm getting money off of this thing or monetizing. I just suck at editing. And I kind of hate jump cuts. Of course, if I did jump cuts, they wouldn't be professional. A box within a box. So I'll make sure I you guys can actually see it. I actually found the uh, both the Japanese site for Viking uh, and the American. The Japanese site has a lot more when it comes to uh, what they offer for telescopes and everything else. They do binoculars and they actually do uh, microscopes too, which is pretty nice. Here are, here's the instruction manuals, both looks to be in English and Japanese.
Now, this is something I'm going to read up on. Now, this is something I am going to read because this is my first telescope. And I want to operate this thing properly. But thanks... Oh, wow. Everything's in Japanese. Oh, please tell me that's not the case. Okay, we... Yeah. So, first set... So, the first set is in Japanese. But, um, there's me playing... If playing, uh, a Sky Full of Stars. I kind of have a general idea how to, uh... Operate the Viking telescope, or at least align it. The one thing that's going to be so confusing for me is the is the image being reversed. That's going to be difficult to get used to. Oh wow, the body's actual metal too. No wonder the thing is sometimes being stuck inside a tree. I'm make sure it ain't gonna like this. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Nope, that still works. Oh god, the image is all reversed. It's confusing as. Okay, I'm gonna put this somewhere safe. I do not want to break this. Oh man, there's so much other stuff here. Eyepiece and everything. Oh, wow, this thing's heavy. This thing is legitimately heavy, and there are the uh, other batch of eyepieces. This right here is the telescope that is in it, that is in a sky full of stars, and I'm now the proud owner of it. Granted, this isn't the exact, granted, this isn't the one that Sega holds, but it's the exact model and everything. One big Viking telescope. I have to attach all the eyepieces to the back. I'm going to have to read up on how to do that. I'm going to first... I'm first going to remove the lens covers and make sure the lenses are fine. Oh wow, that's okay, so I'm not going to be used to that. Pop this off. The main lens looks fine. Back end. Yep, everything looks fine. I just got to get... I just still gotta I still gotta attach everything so everything's blurry. There we go. This part here actually moves, so I don't know what this is for, but it moves. I think it's for cleaning purposes. But this is a metal body. The whole thing's made out, the whole freaking chassis and everything is made out of metal. With that said, this thing's still incredibly delicate. So this thing has to be, uh, so this thing has to be used, the so this thing has to be used very, uh, sparingly. I mean, not sparingly, but, uh, used with care. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this thing back in its container. I'm actually not going to put it together right now because I am sleepy. I need to go to bed. But I am going to upload this video as it is and I'll, try it and I'll have a second part of me actually putting this thing together. I still can't believe I got it. I still can't believe I freaking own this thing. Four hundred dollars, my goodness. Can 
like, a, like I said, I got to read up of how to put the whole thing together. And apparently the uh, tripod is called a Porta 2 mount. Oh god, and it's the heaviest part. Ugh. And of course, it wouldn't be the full telescope without this. Just the just the tripod alone. I think I already said this, but the tripod alone is two hundred dollars. Now, um, the tripod. Now the tripod that's in that's in uh, that's in the sky full of stars has a few extra little bits, I believe. I believe they're like weights or something, because this tripod doesn't have them. And I took a look at the at what at the at the components. Apparently, it's like a star star. It's a it's a star computer, or I forget exactly what it's called. It was like four. It was like seven grand. And of course, here is the uh, verse amount. Or not the inverse amount, but the port amount, or whatever it's called. Okay, hopefully I can run out of this and goes back together so I can. Wow. This is a nice mount. Oh, God, it is heavy. It's incredibly heavy. I have no, I don't, I know this is the legit, this is the actual emblem, and this is pretty much the same thing, and if it's Sky Full of Stars, though they had to change the name, I think they don't have the constellations, or the actual name here, or the actual lettering here, but, um, yeah, this is pretty much the exact same thing. Ooh, wow, that's a real nice face. Okay, I gotta learn how to operate this thing too, apparently, which is okay. But yeah, I mean, I got myself the uh, telescope I've been looking at for, I've been trying to get for the past, what, two years? I've been trying to get this stinking telescope for over two years now. And I just now finally got it. So I'm very happy. Now I just need to get some proper sleep. And put this thing together. And of course here's Seiya with the actual telescope. If you're wondering. I was actually going to have the music playing in the background, but I decided not to. So, uh, granted, it's not granted it was longer than I was hoping for, but like I said, next video will be me putting the thing together. I'm pretty sure at least one or two people will be interested in see how this thing actually goes together, because this is something that is the. Uh, Astronomy hobby is pretty small. I think it's even smaller than the fish hobby. So yeah. I don't know what to end this video on, but I'm going to upload this thing to go to bed. I am incredibly sleepy.